Iron Lords podcast. All right, and we are live. Iron Lord podcast, lordsofgaming.net, with some legendary guests in the realm of YouTube. We have Lady Lauren Side and Lord Bobby. How are we doing? Very good. good. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. So, look, absolute pleasure, first of all, for you guys that talk with us, talk with us in the realm. We like to celebrate our content creators, see what their journey was like, how it was. So, well, let's get start from the very beginning. This is a very unique dynamic, obviously, husband and co-creator mm-hmm. and wife co-creator of a channel. So, let's start with the journey in the beginning. Like, what was it like to get your channel started? What was the initial vision and foundation of your channel? Yeah, sure. Um, so, I actually went to college for video production and TV production, so I was super into video and used to, I think both of us actually used to film like our friends and doing like (laughs) stupid stuff and editing that. Um, So I had a YouTube channel like back in 2007, I think, like a year or two after. She was early. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah, I was an early adopter. That's like one of the things I'm like, I regret not continuing it through college. I was kind of like, oh, I'm going to college, like kind of forget about this. Um, And then I graduated from college, got a job, like office work, super boring. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the side, I started noticing that people were playing games on YouTube now, because that was not a thing when I first started. Mm -hmm. Um, And I was like, oh, there's not many women that do this. Mm -hmm. So I was like, maybe I could do it for fun. So Mm -hmm. it was never like, I didn't even know people made money from it at that (laughs) point still, because back when I knew YouTube, you didn't make money off of it. Um, So I started doing that uh, as like, just to hone my like editing skills and Mm -hmm. all that stuff Mm -hmm. for fun. And it just kept growing and people resonate, it resonated with people because it was like a demographic that wasn't there Mm -hmm. just yet. Um, And then it kept growing and eventually it started like making more income than our actual jobs. Wow. um, At one point I couldn't keep up. I wanted to, I actually worked in like professional sports, which was a really cool job. Wow, very Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Um, And I didn't want to leave that job just yet. So then my husband was not happy with his job at the time. Yeah, I was working on Wall Street and it was miserable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Wall Street. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I aged you, 10 years and two and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> it was rough. I hear you. I hear you. So then you see her kind of bubbling and, and getting this going on. So real quickly, I just want to ask, like, what was your reaction to seeing the success initially that she was having? Yeah, it was crazy. It's, mm-hmm. it's funny. I always remember the first time, like, she was playing Grand Theft Auto on, her, on your iPad. Yeah. And she was weird. reacting and doing what we were watching. You know, first person we watched is PewDiePie. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you're doing what PewDiePie's doing. You're reacting, you're being funny, like, mm-hmm. just do it. Yeah. And it started in our <laughs> tiny little apartment in Manhattan. Nice. We moved out to Jersey and we were there and mm-hmm. yeah. she started growing and growing and mm-hmm. it was just chipping away and mm-hmm. I was up studying late to get my Wall Street test and she's, you know, up making videos doing and editing thing. and it was it was awesome because it was a really cr- good, great creative outlet for her and That's awesome. I made her happy. She was always happy doing it, so mm-hmm. I would you know do my thing. She would do her thing. And mm-hmm. and so, yeah, one of my biggest advice whenever people ask, I'm like just go with what you have like I literally was filming audio from my phone that I already had mm-hmm. we fit we had like an old iMac that's terrible for gaming mm-hmm. like if you watch my old videos they're super laggy but I just like kept <laughs> going through I was like yeah this is fine it's fine like yeah so so you're saying at that point you kind of just like decided hey we're gonna cut these real jobs we're gonna kind of push yeah, into so, the YouTube mm-hmm. realm yeah so he was super unhappy and I said hey let me finish out my job. I have like two, I, my boss was under contract cause it was like professional sports. So I was like, once he's gone, I don't feel a need to stay anymore. So if you can cover the back end stuff so I can just come film and then you can take care of the business until I'm done, that would be great. So he put his notice in for his job and literally a week after he put his notice in, my boss got let go wow. and I lost my job. And I was wow. like, Okay, like this is scary, wait, but wait, hold, yeah, this is this is a moment. Yeah, yeah we don't want to grow. So at that moment, it's real now. Mm-hmm. You know, how are you now enduring during that period, that that exact moment? Yeah, mm-hmm. we uh we actually had a our first anniversary trip scheduled for Ireland, mm-hmm. and it was like so we had budgeted for it, whatever. We're mm-hmm. like in Ireland, mm-hmm. and that was the first time we realized we were like full-time YouTubers basically (laughs) and we were like hopefully this works out but if it doesn't like at least we said we tried um and then everything just doubled from there so like because I was putting 50% into Mm -hmm. YouTube then I went Mm -hmm. to doing 100 and luckily it just yeah kept going when you kind of did that your your family's kind of were they very receptive to it did they understand it or is it kind of just like you know that the regular parents reaction it was the regular parents because like we both had good jobs we were both doing good we were buying a house Mm -hmm. it was just you know, we're getting married, and then they just 
me letting them know how unhappy I was definitely let my parents know, like, all right, you know, maybe, you know, keep, you know, keep your eyes peeled for something right, else. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, we tell them, like, you know, we're making good money. We didn't mm-hmm. tell them exactly, and it wasn't, like, anything crazy at right. first. But, like, we're doing good. We'll be fine. You know, we have savings. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll be fine. But, yeah, but they were definitely a little My, my question specific, though, is when you when you guys explained that it was you two we were doing, mm-hmm. did you get pushback? Like, are you really sure you want to be doing that? Yeah, did they his, did they his parents yeah. didn't understand for a while, I yeah. feel like. They like they yeah, they probably. were okay. They're, his parents are pretty like open, like uh, open about like trying new things and stuff. Mm-hmm. My mom's very like she wanted me to be a teacher because that's yeah, a safe like, job. Yeah, that's like, why, yeah, <laughs> my mom was like that, like that this yep. gaming stuff. I don't know what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, that. and like but. she even like a year into it, we were doing pretty well at that point. Like mm-hmm. she still was like. Yep. Oh, do you think like Bobby will at least get a job to like supplement it? I was like, yeah, but he doesn't. He like brings more value not working a regular job. <laughs> like yeah. it was hard to explain. I, now they fully get it. Like they very. We go to like Disney World with them, and Ooh. I'm getting like stopped constantly yeah. there. Oh, now, oh no, they understand yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, they understand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's different. It's we'll different. Take, we'll take the VIP line. Yeah. That's perfectly fine. We'll yeah, do exactly. that. <laughs> That's probably one of the coolest moments to seeing her mom react to it. Cause she's like, oh my god. Yeah, she gets all like upset, and like, she's like, this is so sweet. Yeah. And now, cool. now they literally, anytime we go out. They were like, if we talk to somebody, they're like, oh, do you watch YouTube? I'm like, stop. No. Oh, yeah. no. oh, so they're like completely <laughs> invested <laughs> now. Oh, yeah, they're, they're awesome. all in there. The best, the best promotion is, <laughs> yeah. your, is your parents. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, but at the start, yeah, they were they were worried, but they weren't like too, like, don't do this. We're going to like cut ties with you. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Yeah, they weren't too bad. They they know we're pretty smart, so we wouldn't just be like. <laughs> Dude, now, all, now we, we watched a handful of the videos. There's a lot of editing in that. Like, yeah. how, how long do you guys take? between like you know recording an episode to cutting it to, to publishing it out mm-hmm. do you guys have a set time frame or do you guys yeah. just kind of make it roll or so every video is different the, yeah. the more highly edited hands-on ones so i have a couple so bobby's my main editor mm-hmm. and so he'll be like the main if i have a really hands-on video that needs lots of edits or i don't know exactly what i want with it mm-hmm. like we'll work on it together like he'll edit the whole thing and then like i'll get to watch it and be mm-hmm. like Maybe this. Usually you do pretty good though. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I'm not critiquing so, 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 your I mean, it's okay. The first video I ever edited, she goes, "Wow, this is better than any video I've ever edited or had edited mm. before." So I'm like, well, I can only get better from here. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a tremendous yeah. asset of you guys as a team. That's oh a yeah, great yeah. Asset. It's that's great. great. Yeah, we were doing a video every day for a year, mm-hmm. and then that just kind of drained you out. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that was, that was my. That's a lot. That was my goal was one video every day for a year, and I yeah. did it. Wow. And then right then I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a break for a week. That was like the first time I ever took a break. I gotta back you up. One video. Every, every day, day. Yeah. for a year yeah. nonstop. like I want to talk about did you, burnout for example as a content yeah. creator obviously you know the intense the, the rigorous schedule that you're doing you know how do you balance it so that it's mm-hmm. still fun because uh, your channel a lot of it is based on humor a lot of it is being funny yeah. and, and, and projecting your personality like how do you how are you able to maintain that level where it's like okay it's like a job where I'm just like you know I don't have yeah. the energy to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've definitely, uh, I've definitely had burnout periods yeah. a lot. Like, mm-hmm. and I can kind of feel it coming on. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll try to backtrack, but sometimes there's no help in it. Like I'm traveling, mm-hmm. or there's like somebody, like there's a death in the family. Like I've yeah. been working through like deaths in the family, wow. being sick, like getting like serious yeah. illnesses me just not having a good day yeah. so if i am having a good day i try to like pep that up and work mm-hmm. as much as i possibly can because i'm like i don't know if this is going to be gone tomorrow yeah, that's a good point so, so so then how do you how do you figure out what like content you're going to make yeah so mm-hmm. bringing back to like uh, what our process is like yeah. so um the more highly produced videos some of those take like an hour or an hour some of those take a day so like uh like my we started doing like troom troom couples pranks that did mm-hmm. really good those mm-hmm. take an entire day to film mm-hmm. um like recreating tiktoks take an entire day to film mm-hmm. like anything that's uh a mix of like either gaming or digital and real life those take mm-hmm. all day to film so i have mm-hmm. to like schedule it out but literally on Sundays, I sit down and I schedule my entire week out, but I kind of give myself a day. So I'll, I'll plan to do most of my work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because I have to get it to my either other editors or Bobby to edit in time for mm-hmm. the weekend drops. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, but I'll give myself a day. So like, it'll be like a flex day. So if Monday mm-hmm. I'm waking up and I'm feeling crappy or something mm-hmm. happened or it's like out of my control, mm-hmm. I have that flex day that to keep day me to from, keep you, yeah. I mean, sometimes it doesn't work out. I'll have like two or three days and mm-hmm. it'll snowball and, um, Mm-hmm. Yeah, but so it, it can range. Like if I do gaming videos, they're mm-hmm. more so an hour to two hours of filming, mm-hmm. uh, depending what kind of game. And then editing takes probably the most time. Yeah, editing, yeah, I've mm-hmm. gotten 
I really want to make a video and teach people how fast I can edit. Cause yeah, I've, we need to learn from you. I've yeah. 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 I, have, I have a mouse with all buttons, and it has a little, actually got it a pack a couple years ago. It has a little flipper on it, so I'm able to like zoom in, zoom out on the timeline real quick. Mm. And I don't have to move my hands. Everything stays in one spot. Nice. And I was noticing my my mind was moving faster than my hands could, mm. could edit mm -hmm. and be creative. So I got really good at just editing like real quick and editing so now like i can go like a first pass and do like an hour hour two wow. hours and then i come back and you know mm -hmm. adding try and be creative but mm -hmm. yeah it's just i've gotten this something that i picked up real quick mm -hmm. i edited for fun when i was a kid mm -hmm. nice. but then when i was like all right let me get serious about it i want to figure out how i can make editing you know fit to me so absolutely absolutely now what is asked specifically about the content creation process from a standpoint of what were some of the things you created that maybe initially like I don't know if this is gonna work or your your viewers would be receptive to it and then you're like I cannot believe this is doing what it's doing like yeah. people are loving this like any specific moments like that uh, in the beginning was me so the Sims was what took my mm -hmm. channel off so oh, okay. I yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Salute to the Sims. Yeah, I yeah. actually like know some of the Sims devs now, and they're always like, that <sighs> video, like, I don't even know where you thought of that. Like, nice. Whenever I find a video idea that I'm like, nobody else has done this, I'm going to do it, even yeah. though it's ridiculous. Like, I think my most recent one was like, I built myself as a house to battle my inner demons in, and it was literally <laughs> like making different versions of myself as the Sims, putting them in a it house does. that looked like me, which was creepy, and then like <laughs> battling to see which personality was like Look, the best. So, and that did really good. And I said, this is either going to bomb or do great and it did really good so i was like great um but the sims when i blew up with that that was my first like kind of rise and yeah because i was like everybody's playing the sims in this like cutesy like oh i made a family and this is my house <laughs> like, like yeah oh no this person cheated on this person <laughs> yep, that's mine was like oh five nights at freddy's is a is a popular game I'm gonna put that in The Sims, even though like the, you can't make those characters. Right. The Sims, so it was like people that looked like these animatronics, so it was creepy, <laughs> and like people loved it. They were like, "This is so ridiculous!" Like, so I kind of ran with that. So now it's just like taking games and making them ridiculous. Wow, yeah, <laughs> do, do you do you end up um like taking like uh suggestions from like your social media, like people talking to you, going, "Hey, do you do you think this would be funny? Do you think that's funny?" Or do you just keep it in house, like? You guys sit down like at the dinner table, essentially, and go. I think I have an idea for, for the next episode. Is there, is there a pitch? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There, it's probably a mix of both. Yeah. And I, I did. I listened to a podcast once actually that like PewDiePie was on, and mm. he said he said he always half listened to his audience because his audience only half understands what's mm. what's gonna sure. work. Right, right. So like, so I always took that. I'm like, okay, like half my okay. So like, they'll give me a suggestion, and every now and then I'll be like that's not going to work or mm -hmm. I won't enjoy that. So right. I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they've had some really good ideas, especially mm -hmm. with series like that mm -hmm. components of it. Mm -hmm. They like, they know what they want to watch. Right. So mm -hmm. as long as I think it'll fit or mm -hmm. I kind of know the trends and I'll be like, yeah, that works. Like mm -hmm. that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. But then we also have sessions where I'll like be skimming through YouTube and mm -hmm. I'm like, I'll show him something. I'm like, Oh my God, what if I did this, but added this yeah. and he'd be like, yes. <laughs> she's like, she's an idea and then she'll, kind of run away with it and mm. one of yeah. the funny parts for me is like you know she makes an idea i help yeah. her out and then i'll be in i'll be right outside her office and i just mm. hear her like cracking up like, <laughs> say like <laughs> these absurd things like if people can only sit where i am and just hear the there's nonsense there's, there's yeah. that behind the scene that director's yeah. cut <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in one of our apartments she, she when she was playing a lot of horror games it was just non-stop screaming. Oh, screaming and I, he was yeah. like you got our true. neighbors are gonna <laughs> think i'm killing yeah. you yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. you would try like, what's going on in here? I mean, yeah, yeah. It's a game. It's yeah. a game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was, that That's was awesome. funny. That's awesome. Let me, okay. Uh, well, so how many how many of you are working together as a team? Is it just the two of you? Or is it multiple? Or how many people totally in your, so in your team? So it's just the, like, the main part of the team is Bobby and I. Mm -hmm. I also have two other like kind of swing editors okay. because mm -hmm. he travels so much right. with me. I need like, yeah, so they, they'll help with a lot of the, the more, not simpler edits, but things right. that I can flat out be like, this is what I want. And then right. they yeah. go with it and they're great too. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have one like virtual assistant that helps with like my email inbox is ridiculous mm -hmm. now and like all that back end yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really just yeah. us. Like I have a lot of friends that were at my level or less and mm -hmm. got offices and a bunch of staff and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I know myself like to help with my burnout and stress mm -hmm. and stuff, I can't have that all yeah. on my shoulders. Yeah, yeah. So like at one point I wanted to like hire friends and family and all this stuff, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, I'm like, I still want so much control over my yeah. content. That's my hardest. It was even hard to get mm. editors for the first time. Um, Is it, it more like a, because uh, it's your, your, your baby. Yeah, 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 it's like, you know, you, know, you got so much respect for it that, you know, it, it's, a, it's a level of detail and, 
intricacy that you want to take with it? Is that it? Or what's the mindset? I think that? it's that I want it to always be, I don't want to be like, I know a lot of people that show up and they're literally show up, they're the face, they film and they leave. Right. And like mm -hmm. everything else is up to their team. Mm -hmm. But then you kind of like lose a part. Like I feel like the editing adds comedy to it. Mm -hmm. The title and idea, like there's people who like have idea thinkers. Like I don't even have that. Like mm -hmm. I just sit, that's where most of my time goes. It's probably just idea thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I keep saying for the past year, like, and someone to make thumbnails for you. That's the biggest yeah. thing. Every love, night it's like, I gotta make thumbnails. I, will, like, I yeah. said, I was like, if I can find someone to make thumbnails as good or better than me, I would do it. But mm. I haven't found that person. I, listen, I feel you. I, yeah. I definitely yeah. understand that. That's a big thing because I get it. It's your baby, your vision. And it, 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 unless someone taps into those emotional notes yeah. that you resonate with. That's why, like, I would trust. Yeah, it's it's your baby. Like, yeah. you're going to care about it the most. most. Like, exactly. whoever has stake in it. So, like, me and him have stake in it because we're married. Exactly. And, like, if it yeah. goes down, it's affected. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like my editors and stuff, like if we go down, they could go get other. Yeah, they have like, a job. Yeah, yeah, they're good. I'll and not to you. say that they don't care, but right. like they're never gonna care. Just like you working for anybody else, like Absolutely. they're gonna you care more about. You just want to keep about. your like soul into the channel. You want to make sure like this is yeah. me. This mm -hmm. is this isn't changing because I'm letting someone else's hands touch it. And even when I edit, it's like always like you know watch it, make yeah. sure I, you know yeah. it stays your tone and everything. So. Mm -hmm. But even that's why produ production value. Like we've upped our production equipment, but we never go too far that it feels too polished. Because gotcha. I feel like our audience likes the fact that we're Ooh. pretty like not that's, polished, that's and like they feel like they're our friends and can come talk to us. That's and, like, interesting. Things like that. I, yeah. I like that. That's a different approach. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Now, let me ask. I wanted to ask from a starting content creator, right? Mm -hmm. You know, obviously you guys been through the grind. You know, you achieve achieving success, you're still growing. And what advice would you give to people try on the way up? You know, that that really may have good ideas, but you know, may get frustrated in not getting to where they want to get and stuff like that. What advice would you say to those people who are really trying to come up in YouTube as a content creator? Try to think of something that hasn't been said. Yeah, a bunch yeah. Of I would say my, my advice, what mm -hmm. I like to see people do, is try everything because you never know what you're going to find your niche in, and right. you never know what's going to bring out your best creativity. Mm -hmm. So you might, you know, be a big fan of The Sims or be mm -hmm. a fan of Lauren. But, oh, I want to be like Lauren and make Sims videos, mm -hmm. but you don't know if oh maybe I'll go play this other game that mm -hmm. I've never played before, and my mm -hmm. reactions to it are great. So mm -hmm. don't lock yourself down. Like, try, yeah. try. Everything. Or the the biggest thing, or anytime somebody. I, I know people now that like know what I do and they're yeah. like, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel. I'm like, oh, okay, that's <laughs> so great. easy. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's great. Yeah. And then like weeks will go by. They'll be like, yeah, I'm still working on my first, like editing my first video. And I was like, weeks later? What do you mean? And they're like, I just want it to be perfect. I'm like, that's like the biggest hold up. I feel like is people just starting. Like they have such a problem just, just starting because they're worried they're going to look stupid. It's not going to be exactly as they pictured, but it's not regardless. Like you're going to be awkward. It's not going to be what you thought, mm -hmm. but that's why I always say I leave my first videos ever up. Nice. They're so embarrassing to watch, <laughs> but I leave them up because I'm like, I want people to see that. Like you don't start like where I'm at. Exactly. It, it took, it took so long before you start noticing my demeanor changes on camera. I was so like stiff and like, <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, what video would you say that ended up kind of like, Making well, other than you know the your Sims. transition for your job, mm -hmm. was this was the Sims what kind of like pushed you like your video going, yeah, okay, we can definitely do this. Um, I think the first like really viral video that I got, um, like the Sims, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry, which one? <laughs> so she did like a 24-hour living as a Sim like challenge where she did exactly what her Sim yeah. did in the game for 24 hours, wow. and she did it for 24 hours. So yeah, basically, I was even, like, just do it. Like she's like, no, I want it to be real. Like, we watched okay. everybody else's videos. I was like, they definitely edited this. Like they definitely yeah. didn't do this for 24 right, hours. Right. Like I think one person maybe did that. Mm. I thought they mm. did. I said I'm gonna actually do it because you should be able to tell Ooh. that I did it, and you could. Like at the end of the video, I like drained. And it was the <laughs> worst day. But like that's my <laughs> most viewed video of Energy all time zero. still. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then people love that. So then I did like eating like a sim, painting like a sim. Like oh we just kept God. going with that. Yeah. That did really good. And then like I also started doing when before TikTok became big when people were like making fun of it. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, I gotta get on this. And yeah. I did like recreating them and mm. that blew up. I remember checking Six. my phone, we were like going out to dinner and I was like I was like, oh what my god, how many, I got this many views in an hour? Like, this is insane. And that was right around the time we started doing it full time, too. And I was like, ooh, like, I think, I think it's going to work. Like, this yeah, is going to awesome. work. It's the best feeling. It's the best feeling yeah, yeah, yeah. in the world. 
I gotta ask the uh, the Lord over here, the uh, the, the co-creator, co co-founder. <laughs> now I've heard you are a Destiny band. Now you know the Iron Lords were built. The foundation was uh, off of Destiny, but so we still playing. Is there any chance to get you in the realm as far as Destiny back into the game, or you kind of retired from that life? Oh, I am all in. All I play. It is. I I think I'm in like top two or three percent of the time played. Oh wow, salute. Yeah, I play everything. I play PvP, PvE. I don't raid a lot just because mm. I don't like depending on other people's schedules. But yeah. that aside, yeah. oh, I love it. I will. Right. Uh, Destiny, Destiny's like a, another marriage. You know this. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, yeah. He would like schedule. I have in my calendar. Yeah. He's like, there's a new like the thing raid. dropping. I, I, this I, I, I have my He's like, I can't. Room. Can you get Which your other editors covered? I got Crown of Sorrow, and then Woo. I got the. Uh, Did you get your Garden of Salvation yet? Uh, yeah, I'm waiting on that. Mommy, I'm waiting on that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's on call. He's on call. I can respect him. Oh yeah, he's on top of it. He's like, there's a new one coming out. Like, can can you get your other editors to like do videos that week? Like. Yes. Yep. If, Respect. If Shadowkeep came out, I had the whole week blocked out. <laughs> my, you take, oh, you take the vacations too? Oh, I my man. <laughs> yeah. My man, he's all good. He's a fisher. He's a fisher. He's a fisher. Yeah. So that, I never did a day one raid before, so yeah. for me that was, oh, that was probably one of my dude. coolest video games, just being online for like 17 hours and going through it and getting frustrated with my friends and then being like, all right, we'll pick this up tomorrow. And then we came oh, back. I, I actually that. went and completed it with another person just because mm -hmm. he was it was another streamer playing, yeah. and I hopped in. Mm -hmm. And then I went back, and I completed it with them. And mm -hmm. I was like, this is awesome. I feel like really accomplished. Mm -hmm. We all came back. We That's did it awesome. together. We figured it out. So Yeah, the sense of accomplishment is, is amazing. Met so many people. I've yeah. met so many people from Destiny, and mm -hmm. it's... The community is incredible. Yeah, I will say this. I know we're going for the Destiny tangent, but I will say it's one of those things that when you experience a raid for the first time, like you, like you were saying, in the sense of um, you have a bond with that person. That person is like your brother. You yeah. went through Vietnam with him. Yeah. Like, like my, it's uh, it's serious. My partner in uh, Crown of Sar, you know, like you split up into two teams yes. and would do it. Yeah. The guy I was with, was, we were like, became boys mm -hmm. after that. We were like, oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, that's your dude right yeah, there. Yeah, that's my man. We, we, we did good. We no were not doubt. holding the team down. So are you, so are you guys just um, ex exclusively on YouTube, or are you guys using like like you said another streamer? Are you guys using Twitch or Mixer or something else also? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a Twitch partner too. Okay. Um, I haven't found my like niche there because yeah, I yeah. found that most people want me to play like Sims and Minecraft, and yeah. I'm like, but Twitch, Twitch, I'm trying to turn into like my. Um, like games that my audience doesn't normally like, but Ooh. I would play. So I played so like Destiny might. on yep. there. Right. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I played like games that are um like uh. League team Legends, fight tactics, team fight. Warcraft 3 when that came out. Like yep, games yeah. that like my audience wouldn't naturally Ooh. gravitate to. I yeah. played like old Nintendo games on there. Like whatever Smooth. I feel. That's it's for me. Like Good. YouTube's mm -hmm. for them. Now you are you saying that you kinda you're using that kind of as your downtime, as your enjoyment time. Yes. So yeah. it's more so like I we tried to do it as part of the business, but like I, I can't keep up with it yeah. with the mm -hmm. schedule I already have. Mm -hmm. So and like being on Twitch, you have to have a schedule. Like that's yes, one of the biggest yes, things. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and we, I watch people all the time on it, but like me personally, I can't keep up with it. So it's more of like a leisurely thing. Like mm -hmm. I want to play this game, but I kind of want to talk to people, especially if a new game drops or I have questions, mm -hmm. then I'll play it. And then I have like my set smaller group of fan base that's there that mm -hmm. doesn't care what I play and they'll yeah. hang out. So it's fun for that. Yeah, it's yeah. more leisurely. That's, that's pretty awesome. And like, one of the final questions I want to ask, as far as joint things together, early in the channel, have you guys collaborated together on camera? Maybe maybe some stuff as a husband-wife duo more on the channel? Uh, on YouTube, you mean? On YouTube, on YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, um, we've been starting to, like, if I have a game that I think would be fun with Ooh. another person. Like, yeah. we just played a couple's breakup game on YouTube. <laughs> oh. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, oh. yeah. it was like an app game where you had to break up couples. So, like, the two of us <laughs> had to, amazing. like, decide. Yeah, and that actually started doing really good at it. <laughs> like, because it did, it did decent. And I was like, oh, okay. And then, like, recently I rechecked it. I was like, oh, wait, this is doing good now. I don't yeah. know what the heck happened. We played Raft together. Oh, yeah, Raft was that really was fun. That was a lot of fun. Because nice. uh, it's good. People because I'm yeah, very competitive, I play Destiny competitive, yeah. and she's not. And so I'm, I'm not, like, so it's just him. I'm gonna get all angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. Well. Like, yeah, because I'm always from a comedy aspect. Yeah, and he's yeah. always from like a, we have to do good, what are you doing? So like we bounce off each other pretty good because of that because we're like opposites when we play. <laughs> this is absolutely yeah. awesome. And just to hear the journey, to hear your guys' story, you know, as a content creator, this kind of stuff emboldens us to see, you know, the, the success stories and just the chemistry you guys have and just this unique dynamic. Because technically, it also works too. Because he's an editor, like I said, oh, and you're yeah. able to do, you know, what you do. And uh, again, this is a tremendous, tremendous thing to see. So, any last words to to your fans, to your base of the Lawrence side? I was, I was gonna say something like, uh, 
start working out. It's the best thing <laughs> <Yeah>. ever. <laughs> Just to totally gym. off Go the to point. Gym. Mind, but, body, and soul. Take yeah, care yeah, take care of mind, body, and soul. Mm -hmm. That's what we were talking about burnout. I was yeah. like, that's been the three main things. Eating healthy, working Ooh. out, and like taking care of yourself. Yeah. And yourself. playing games you want to play sometimes. No, I, I know. No, that's awesome yeah. because I love that you said that because you had to have that balance. Oh, yeah. Physically taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. And I love that you said also the aspect of the Twitch aspect of saying, saying, you know, sometimes I got to do some games for me. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It, I mean, as much as you have to serve your community, we get it. Yeah. Love the balance. An absolute pleasure to have you two yeah, in the room. Lady Laura Side, Lord Bobby of the Destiny Clan. <laughs> An absolute pleasure, Lord Petey. This was great. Iron Lord Podcast, lordsofgaming.net. We are signing out. Peace. Peace.